Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's 1159. And I just wanted to say good morning to everyone. Praise God. And happy Thanksgiving Eve to you. Hallelujah. As we gather on this wonderful Wednesday. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God is good and he is worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Well, it is wonderful Wednesday and now it is 12 noon. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Woman's Prayer Circle. This is a season of thanksgiving. Glory to God. We are thankful, grateful, and blessed. Hallelujah. Happy Thanksgiving Eve to all. Glory to God. The Bible says in Psalms 100, glory to God, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that have made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The word of God is blessed. Glory to God. Once again, welcome to the Woman's Prayer Circle for a special, wonderful Wisdom Wednesday gathering. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. At this time, praise God, I would ask anyone who would like to share one, again, I say one thing that you are thankful for on this day. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Who would like to share one thing that they're thankful for on this day? Hi, this is Susanna. I'm thankful for the Lord waking me up this morning, calling in my right mind, and also looking to ask God on my grandchildren, my great grand and her father. I thank God for my salvation and for my life. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Do we have someone else? And I know, hallelujah, that everyone has something to share, praise God, that they're thankful for on this day. This is Sister Madden. I'm thankful for another day. I think that he kept me for another year to see another Thanksgiving. God is so good. His faith and his word are to be praised. Thank you. I'm going to praise his holy name. And glorify him. Thank you for another day. Rest in his body and have a blessed Thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. My sister, glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord. Hallelujah for you. Hallelujah. Do we have another one? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Anyone else want to share? From the Miracle Sunshine Angel I am so thankful. Thank God for his grace, his mercy, his forgiveness, his peace, his guidance, his friendship, his protection. And everything he does for me woke me up this morning, started me on my way, and allowed me to another day because there was times where I I was told, my mother was told that Hello. I would not live but God said, oh my God not so, I to said to hang me up and, I and yes yeah, I, I am living and living my testimony for okay, the Lord. Yeah. Call the, the 516 number, okay? Yeah, okay. Right. Okay. I'll try it again. 
Glory to God. Do we have one more? Glory to God. Hallelujah. I know we all have something to be thankful for. Brother James, you're on the line. You have something to be thankful for? Yes. Glory to God. That yes. Thank God for another day wake me up this morning. And uh, I want to thank God for my health. And another Thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Miss Ann, Sister Ann. Hallelujah. What are you thankful for? I thank, I thank God for my good health. I thank God. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, I thank God for my good health. I thank God for giving you uh, so long. I thank God for all your prayers. Yes, I thank, I thank prayer circle for everything that they do for me. Thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glory to God. Well, I am so thankful unto the Lord because he has filled me up with his Holy Spirit so I can do all things in him and through him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For without him, I am nothing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We praise God. Hallelujah. Because of these testimonies. Glory to God. And that's what they are. These are testimonies of the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. And we all are thankful. Hallelujah. Glory to God. To be in the land of the living. Hallelujah. But we also, glory to God, are knowing that we are saved. Hallelujah. That we We'll have what? Eternal life. Glory to God. We're just passing through on this side. Glory to God. But Lord, 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 the day when we can see Jesus face to face. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for sharing today and then also for joining us on this wonderful Wednesday. Glory to God. At this time, praise God. Hallelujah. We ask that everyone please put your phone on mute or lower your volume. So you're able to hear the word of God. Hallelujah. We shall open our hearts, our mind, and our spirits as we prepare for the word of God. We shall have, hallelujah, the word of God from Pastor Donald Anderson. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord for you. God bless you, Sister Campbell. Are you ready for me? Yes, glory to God. Come on in. Yeah, we we thank God and we praise Him that we can do our little part to uh, enhance or to uh, further His word along the way. Because we do realize it's getting late in the evening and that the sun is going down, maybe not on our lives, but on our generation. So, coming from the word of God, we want to... I ask everybody to turn to Matthew 4th chapter, and we're going to read some verses there. Matthew 4, beginning with the first verse. And it reads, Then was he led up by the Spirit under the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Verse 2, And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward a hunger. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be bread, made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not be by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And if we had to give a time to this, I believe we would just talk about the temptation of Jesus. 
Now we realize that we are not as good as he is, but he did have to endure some of the same things that we have to endure. And one of those things is temptation. We always, we hear people say sometimes, I can, I can resist anything, but what that really means is I can resist anything except temptation because we are oftentimes finding ourselves giving in to something that we really don't want to do. It depends on where it's coming from as to how we accept it. Now, according to the scripture that we just read, it said Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness. And we know that in the, in the scripture, when it says led up by the Spirit, it's talking about the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. So when the Holy Ghost led Jesus into the wilderness, he led him there for one particular thing, and it says here, to be tempted by the devil. Now, we don't have to be led to the wilderness because we're tempted by the devil every day, one way or the other. But the interesting thing we find in here is that when the devil spoke to him, Jesus had fasted, he said, according to verse 2, that he'd already fasted 40 days and 40 nights. And it said he was afterward hungry. Now, as he hungry, he was hungry from fasting for 40 days and nights, I imagine he was also weak. And I suspect that Satan felt the same way, that he was weak and he was the son of God. Satan knew that he was the son of God, but he felt like that he could catch him in the weak time and cause him to worship him. So he told him, he said, if you be the son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Now, there's two things there. Number one, he said, if you be the son of God. In other words, he said it to him as if he doesn't quite believe that he's the son of God, but also that he knows that if he's the son of God, he can make the stone into bread because he knew he was hungry. But Jesus told him, he said, it is written. And when he says it is written, he's referring to the scripture, to this Bible that we read. He said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And this is where we are today. We're in the time when People might not be trying to tempt us so much with physical bread that we eat, but they're trying to tempt us with all of the good things of life. They're trying to show us all the wonderful things that we can have, and nobody I don't think is going to come to us and say, if you forsake the Word of God. But they're going to try to present things to you that looks so enticing that it will cause you to forsake the word of God. Because Satan is not only, as we say, the devil, but he is also the devil within us. Because contrary to popular belief, there are only two spirits that are out there working. It's the spirit of God and the spirit of devil. And we should be, as Christians, filled with the Holy Ghost and fire. We should be able to recognize without asking somebody and embarrassing them. But we should be able to recognize when we are talking to somebody who is not saved. Because something they say or do will let us know. And once we recognize that they are not saved, then comes our obligation. We have an obligation to tell them or to give them something from the scripture that will cause them to fall out with their wicked ways and to come into God's kingdom. That's the work of a believer. We all have that. You don't have to be a preacher or a missionary or you don't have to carry any kind of title. 
But if you are a true believer of God, you do carry that obligation. The Bible tells us that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So in order to help somebody escape the wages of sin, we can't just come up to them and say, well, I know you're a sinner, so listen to what I have to say. It's not that easy. You have to be tactful when you talk to people. But you have to, as well as employing your tact, you have to be telling them something along the way that will let them know, well, maybe, maybe you think you're living all right. Maybe you think you're going to die and go to heaven. But the Bible tells us that there's only one way, and that's through Jesus Christ our Lord. So we have that obligation, and we will continue to have that obligation to witness to others and to honor God. At every opportunity we have, we should witness to others to the extent that we will cause them to fall out with their wicked ways and to come unto God before it is everlasting too late. I thank you for your attention. Now back into the hands of Sister Campbell. Well, praise the Lord. Thank you, Dr. Anderson. Praise God for the word of God. Hallelujah. And we thank the Lord, hallelujah, because of his goodness and his mercy and his grace, his loving kindness, and how he woo us and draw us unto him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We praise God for the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Who will direct us and lead us. Hallelujah. Into all truth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. For the word of God. Hallelujah. At this time, praise God, if there is anyone, hallelujah, who's on the prayer line who do not know the Lord in the pardon of their sins, glory to God, hallelujah, this is your opportunity, hallelujah, to come to the Lord, to repent, hallelujah, and allow him to move in you, glory to God, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, glory to God, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God is good. Is there anyone there? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Who don't know him. Hallelujah. And desire to have prayer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Well, I'm trusting God that everybody on the line, glory to God, is saved. Hallelujah. Sanctified and filled with God's precious Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Because we can do nothing without him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God. Hallelujah. For taking the time to join us. Hallelujah. On this special service. Hallelujah. On Thanksgiving Eve. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If anyone have a song on their heart that they want to sing, glory to God, or just share anything at this time, Hallelujah. You're welcome to do so. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I see that Sister Teresa came on. Hallelujah. Sister Teresa, do you have anything you want to share? Glory to God. Sister Teresa, are you still there? Yeah, I'm there. I'm just putting myself on mute. I'm just trying to get it off. Good morning, everyone. Praise the Lord. How y'all doing? I hope everyone is doing very well for this Thanksgiving Eve. I just want to say that the Lord is good. His mercies endure forever. And I want to make sure that everyone has a happy, blessed Thanksgiving. Sometimes we don't get everything that we want. And sometimes we're not where we want to be. But we have to think of God's mercy and God's thankful uh, power. Uh, the pastor that I was listening to Sunday, he was his text was uh, powerful Thanksgiving. And I thought on that and I said, you know what? We've got to be grateful. We may not have everything that we want. We may not have the family members around us that we want, but we just have to be thankful for everything that he gives us. And then we have to ponder on all the things that he has given us and just be grateful to that 
I thank the Lord for bringing me out of some of my challenges that I have had this year. And I, I'm just grateful and thankful to him. And I just want to say, Lord, I just want to thank you. 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 I want to thank you for being so good to me. Peace and blessings to everyone and just have a blessed Thanksgiving with your families, your friends, and just know that God is able and he is a good, good God to each and every one of us that we give our life to. And it's like, come home to God for the people who are not into Jesus, but just open your heart. Just like with my sister, she's having such a challenge with her daughter now. Her daughter doesn't want to participate in Christmas, but we have to realize we have to all come home to God and give our life to God. Because if we don't give our life to God, we'll just be out here dangling and hanging and just not fruitful to anybody. So I just say to everyone on the line, I thank God for you, each and every one of y'all, especially Maria, for her tenacity. And just have a blessed Thanksgiving to each and every one of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, and amen. Glory to God. Thank you, thank you, my sister. Hallelujah. Down in Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, you're on the outskirts of Charlotte, North Carolina. Hallelujah. But yeah, glory 15, to God. 15 minutes, 15 minutes over the bridge. I'll be downtown Charlotte, North Carolina. And I love it out here. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. Glory to God. We thank you, Pastor Anderson. Praise God for the word of God. Hallelujah. We thank God for each and every one of you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And everyone have a blessed Thanksgiving. Hallelujah. And if it's the Lord's will, we shall meet next week. Hallelujah. And a brand new month. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We'll have our prayer warriors back on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So may God bless you. May God keep you. Hallelujah. Through this season, if you're traveling, may God, hallelujah, bless you with traveling mercies to and from. Hallelujah. Everyone have a blessed and a wonderful Thanksgiving. I love you and I love you to life. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye. God bless you.